I know in the study guide after um, yesterday's lecture on OSPF, um, one of the things uh, that was recommended to, to view was the, uh, the intro to ACL. So just from green checks, how many of you did get a chance to take a peek at those videos and kind of get a quick crash course on ACLs? For anybody that um, didn't get a chance to, uh, possibly you have some experience with, uh, with ACLs? <laughs> Anybody get a chance to check those out? I don't see too many, uh, too many green checks. Just two or three? Okay. All right. So our access control list. This is um, this is one of those sections where, if you've never looked at ACLs before. Um, this might be one of those videos that you know you just kind of go back and rewatch again because there's um, quite a few different items that you need to um, to know with with ACLs. Um, kind of like when we looked at OSPF, um, lots of little kind of moving pieces that uh, we need to be familiar with on um, you know to to really understand the basics of the protocol similar with our access list. So what the heck is an access list? Well, it provides traffic identification. All right, and when we say, you know, traffic's been identified, well, there's this variation of actions that we can apply. Now, first and foremost, when we think about why we might want to um, capture or identify different types of traffic, well, there's lots of different reasons. Um, the the foundational concept of ACLs that we're going to look at is um, in today's classes to primarily either allow traffic to go through a routed interface or to uh, prevent certain types of traffic through a routed interface. So maybe we have a specific part of our network that we don't want any um, web access to or we don't want any um, let's say for example um, you know email traffic to or um, FTP traffic to or we just don't want a specific subnet talking to that part of the network um, these are examples of just the basics that we can do with ACLs now when you guys eventually progress your studies you're gonna learn that ACLs aren't just allowed uh, or aren't just utilized for um, allowing or preventing certain parts uh, or certain types of traffic in parts of your network. We're going to see that ACLs can be utilized for um, network address translation. That's another thing we're going to look at. Um, it can also be utilized for, uh, let's say, VPNs. Uh, maybe there's a certain subnet that we want to allow through our VPN. Um, we can utilize access lists for route maps and we can basically uh, utilize those ACLs for things like redistribution. Maybe I want to allow some of this to be redistributed. Maybe I don't want some of it to be distributed. So basically uh, we can use an access list to identify a certain type of traffic and then we can either say you know yes we want to do something with that traffic or you know no we don't want to do something with that traffic. 